This is Daily Gold. Let us begin. Okay, so when it comes towards Daily Gold for today, we started with our Wrath of the Lich King Gold Farms. And for the data that we actually got for today was from the Utgard Pinnacle. Now, I remember doing this back in the day with Wrath of the Lich King. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward and a very linear path. However, one thing I did ha have to work out is the method in order to actually farm it up. And that took me about one run, to be quite honest. And then after that, it was pretty dead simple and straightforward to actually follow. The only other thing that I would add as an addition, I did have to use my Dreamwalk ability to go in and out of the instance. This is so I can actually just get out, reset and go back in again really fast. However, with other classes, you may struggle. However, but with a monk, you're able to do this with a meditation ability as well as all of that. So without further ado, let's get in towards the results. So going in towards worth it for today, and if we go over towards ta -da -da -da, instances, my farms, we can have a look at Utgar Pinnacle, and we can see that it currently got us around about 107,550. 53 gold worth of value from this gold farm based off of the region market average if we go in towards all of this there was a few kino items that actually stood out and that was a couple of the greens which were going for like a few thousand gold each however with the horror blood treads is one thing on my server it's about 4,298 gold but on the region market average these are going for roughly around about 21,000 gold nice to say the least. The other one is the Skien Woven Mantle. I got a hold of those and I got two of them for, um, and they sell for 1,864 gold. On the region market average, it's 1,394 gold, so quite steady. And the sell rate is quite low. However, it's 0.008, so quite close to a 0.01. So, yeah, we'll see how Wrath of Lich King Transmog sells overall. The Vrykul Shackles is the other one that I got a hold of, but that's just really a wrist piece. However, they go for around about just under 1,000 gold on my server and a region market average of 1,367 gold. All in all, that came out to a nice little round total. I did not expect that for Utgard Pinnacle. So if we jump in towards our auction house, we can have a nice little mosey over to everything. And if we have a look at Utgard Pinnacle right here, we can see that I came out of this afterwards with a full valuation of 118,149 gold. Not bad, it was a little bit more, so something was a little bit more valued than the region market average, which is definitely this Bale Helm, which is going for 27,000 gold on my server. But on the region market average, it's roughly around about 1,328. So we'll see how that pans out because that could be a fake value, most likely. And we can see that the icy orb of Fire Flash is going for something to that effect as well. As the region market average for that one is 15,000 gold. So it's been benchmarked at that price as well. If we actually keep going down, it just is an array of different types of items. Most in part, swords, 15,000 gold on my server, region market average, 12,000 gold. And it's just an array of different types of items that all added up quite nicely. I didn't get that many of them. It's about 26 greens and blues from this. However, it added up to a high value. So we'll see how that pans out because it's Wrath of the Rich King Mog. I'm not well versed. I'm usually a TBC and vanilla person and dabbled in the wad as well. But... With this, gathering all the data, we can get a good look at this. And then while we're actually doing the data collection, we can actually see the sales. So sales for today, if we jump in towards everything, is 667 gold. Eh, not so good. It's just all the little bits and bobs being sold. We sold a few different types of low-end transmog as well, like Conquerors, Astralayan, and the Mist misty reed hood of the aurora so let's just pull that in nothing really of note and there we go so if we have a look at it we're currently sat at 231,791 gold not bad i'm okay with that 
and then we'll go from all of there. The only other little difference that I actually did was I was posting these guys on 48 hours, so we'll see how these pan out. And we're currently sat at 795 items on the auction house with a total value of 1.8 million. Overall, for today, Utgard Pinkle came as a bit of a shock for me in just in general, so I'm really curious to see how all the other WAD based transmog farms will actually pan out. So if we pull up the data sheet, we can see that we've got quite a few to actually do. Utgar Pinnacle was there. And if you want the data resource from that, it's on the spreadsheet, which is on the Discord. So if we pull up the Discord, we can go over to WAD worth it data sheet right there from the info. And you can find the link for this sheet right here. And then the worth it beta, has been updated for the week already so if you want to join the patreon then you can go get the worth it beta from there other than that that's pretty much everything for today so that being said i'm going to get cracking get sorted on another gold farm before i head off to work so that being said have an awesome one and i shall see you in the next video which will be soon mm -hmm.